We've been looking at for a while ways to introduce science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM skills, into our students, uh, particularly at the junior high level. Kevin Snyder approached uh, Mr. Burry and I, Principal General Sherman, about adding a robotics class um, to the curriculum here at Thomas Ewing uh, and General Sherman. Um, we started looking into it. I uh, thought it would be a great fit uh, with 21st century skills that we want our students to uh, have. So a chance to bring back a hands-on robotics class um, now in the 21st century and um, you know technology and robotics was really exciting um, and present with that opportunity um, for the junior highs in Lancaster, you know of all places to bring this was something we jumped on. Lego is the company that makes the uh, Lego robotics uh, program so you've got pieces of Legos that are specifically designed for the robots and you have a programming brick so you use the brick along with wheels and other uh, sensors to create the robot. The Lego representative showed us how they can make the robots um, move around um, the room, how it can respond to different stimuli, colors and so forth so the kids can um, learn how to do that and work with that and really think through the programming process. These kids are going to learn some, some very hands-on skills um, that are going to reinforce to them science, technology, engineering, and math skills. Uh, these kids are going to take the science and math and technology standards that they've already learned and they're going to apply them by building robots and then learning how to program those ro robots to do certain tasks. So these kids are going to learn science standards, technology standards, math standards, and they're going to be learning programming. There are some schools in Ohio that at the junior high level have robotics clubs. There are very few that have a class that is taught on robotics. Um, so when you look at it, our kids are going to have an ability to learn some skills that not many other students in Ohio get a chance to learn. We talk about Lancaster being the place to be. This is definitely going to make us even more the place to be. Um, I think it proves to people our seriousness and our, um, our dedication to science education, that we're not just about, okay, let's do what the state tells us to do, but we're looking for ways to expand students' experiences and knowledge. It's been amazing to see what, how it's changed since I was in seventh grade at General Sherman, eighth grade, taking a programming class compared to now what we're going to be offering our students here uh, in Lancaster City Schools. I think it'll apply to a wider range of students. Like We're expecting a lot of the students to be really interested um, and motivated no matter what level that they're at. The ones who struggle with maybe some other topics, we're expecting to really show their stuff here. <laughs> So I just think it's exciting that we're willing to make this commitment as a district to fund a program like this and to offer this kind of opportunity that we're not just, oh, let's just put kids in study hall, that we're looking for new ways to expand their learning, to expand their thinking and their experiences. I just think it says a lot for the leadership of the district that we're able to do this. When our kids go to other districts, they may go to nicer buildings, nicer infrastructure, but the technology that those other districts and buildings have in place, um, you know, do not compare to what we have going on. And this is just going to be an added element um, to that. So it's exciting that um, kids here at General Sherman, kids at Thomas Shooting, kids in Lancaster are going to have that opportunity um, that could possibly give them a, um, you know, a head start when you get the competitive. Uh, age of college, which is, is in eighth grade, which is only four years away. As they get older, you know, you, you want to make yourself as marketable as possible. It, you know, anymore, the job force with technology, we're losing man labor because the computers are taking over. So, you know, as, as our students get older, as my kids get older, as your kids get older, they need to make sure that they have those skills because it's going to get tougher and tougher as those man labor jobs are taken out. I'm excited to do it. I think it'll be really fun. Um, again, it'll be nice. The kids will be excited about it in the classroom. They can uh, work together. They'll be working in pairs. Um, so a lot of those cooperative skills to get along, not only at school, but in, like you said, in the future for the workplace, they can get together and work. 
Well, I think it says a lot about our school district when we, when we look at our junior high schools, which are in the top 5% of schools in Ohio in terms of the academic growth that their students reach, that we're going to take another step and add another uh, level to their education that will take them even higher uh, achievement-wise. But I think it's not just about the achievement. I think it's about creating programs that are engaging to students. And the most important thing about this program is it isn't just about the content, it's the projects and the problem solving and the critical thinking and the creativity that the students are going to have to go through that will really allow them to apply all the different topics that they've learned throughout school into a project. And I think that's what's going to really uh, take them to another level.